Well, this is up to you. You have, a, you have another yard extrusion. The only thing you have yeah. is the okay. heat set. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll, we won't go, so we're gonna go into our, our older uh, BCF extrusion plant, uh, where we have the majority of our production. So in total, we make about 1,700, uh, 1700 tons of yarn every month. Uh, we extrude about 95 to 96% of the yarn that we tuft. The only thing we don't is a few specialty uh, yarns from, from India, um, shiny stuff. Not really for your market. tufting lines, one backing line, and one uh, PP extrusion line. His, uh, his concept from day one was that he wanted to be vertically integrated. He felt that if he could control the process at each step, he could guarantee to his products and give the warranties that the product was gonna perform and it was gonna last. Um, and just like Dubai, uh, this region, he grew a lot with this region. And uh, it sort of organi organically grew and they started buying machine by machine. And um, originally we were in a rented premises about uh, 100 miles away from where we are today. And uh, in 2014, <clears throat> we made the strategic decision to basically take all of our rented premises where it was kind of disjointed and all the operations were scattered and build one streamlined process. So from 2014 to 2017, we did a shift. Uh, we shifted basically one machine at a time and by 2017, we opened this and became the largest private industry in uh, this area of Dubai. Uh, today, we have uh, 10 BCF lines, 32 tufting machines, two backing lines, and a carpet tile line, um, and soon to be four more grass extrusion, our newest vertical. So we have 500 employees, and we're open 24-7. 
we're in our tufting house now. I think we might have come at lunch, but nevertheless, we'll see some. You said the tufting machines might not be running 24-7, but the finishing lines pretty much do. Well, no, we're also, we also came in. happening is each uh, yarn bobbin is fed individually through a single tube and that tube is fed through a single needle. On the needle bar you have roughly 240 uh, needles which are penetrating this primary backing uh, and used to make a design. Of the 32 machines we have a variety of different options. We have 1 8 gauge, 1 10 gauge, cut files, scrolls, color points, uh, lots of different variations. Depending on the design of the machine, we load the, uh, it produces a certain desired pattern. So this is a 1 8 gauge compile, which means uh, for every one inch you have eight stitches. Um, and I think right now we're on the poly, poly estimate. This is just so that we, not yet. This is just so that we can have a long continuous run and we're not gonna have lots of- uh, Quarter mile. Waste. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And it's uh, tufted the same way. So it's felt on the outside, yeah. 
to pick a vacuum tank. The application is tremendous. But then again, we end up selling it for like 30, 40, 50 dollars. But, <clears throat> but the end product price is approximately 40 dollars, which is so the end line. Times 8,000 square meters, so you can imagine. So that is, that is something that we are thinking locally here, that we'll be going downstream also. We'll be taking care of uh, the little projects because I have a contracting experience and I can build up a team that will go in there and uh, start taking to the complete. Uh, and it's helpful because when we design the pro uh, product or even for clients which are overseas, we can tell them the technicalities of how to go about installation and if they face any problem in the engineering part also at their end, we can solve that. Rubber and sand onto the field. So the carpet. It's a very durable product. Here we're heading into our carpet tile line. So what's happening is these these rolls from the tufting are being fed into uh, and then they're they're being uh, sent over the top. Um, on the top, we're adding our anti-stain and our antimicrobial and any other uh, treatments that we may require by the customer. In the meanwhile, um, this is PVC application. So what we're doing, as you'll see there, is our first our first uh, layer of PVC application. Uh, after that, we're on top. We're adding a layer of glass fiber for dimensional stability. And after the glass fiber, we're adding adding a second layer of PVC. It's sort of a glass fiber sandwich. Um, with that, forms the backing. And from the top comes the mother roll from the last process of the tufting machine. And that's being joined and together it's being cured in the ovens. And once it's cured and the backing is in the form, it's cut. In this case we're doing a 25 by 1. Got our quality control team who are checking for any faults and back it in the tile. Now we are trying to granulate that and to refeed it back into a, as a instead of calcium carbonate. Um, we're still working on the recipes, but at the moment that's the only waste that leaves our factory. Everything else is fully recycled. So all our yarn, all of our uh, packing, um, we use next to no. Of stock uh, for all of our. So they're, they're not waiting for an order to ship things. If they have it, they'll ship it. Yeah. How many containers are you guys moving a, a month? Um, about. That's a good question. Tashar, how many containers do we move in a month? Do you know? Uh, uh, square meter wise, you can yeah, I can give you one point. It would be uh, in square meters. It would be about 1.4, 1.5 million square meters. A year? No, 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 no,
lot lighter, I'm assuming. Get more it's much easier in the winter, especially. You know how the action back gets really brittle and, and, and rough in the winter? This winterized is much easier. But no difference as far as delamination or anything will be the same? No. It's better because there's no filler. But that with the filler is going to make it less dimensionally stable. It's going to, you know, make these, the tough find worse. So this is better. So this is 100% latex and not I mean, that's not. No marble dust. No marble dust. <laughs> I can tell you from experience that competition is going to put as much of that filler content yeah. as I can get away with. Keep in the product. The secondary backing, where it marries the primary backing. And it's pushed down to keep them together. And then it goes to this oven that goes all the way down to cure the, the backings together. All the way down. All the way wow. down. It's a big oven. Very big. Oh, yeah. We can actually try this. That's bigger than normal. Yeah. You go into the, uh, the guys in Dalton, the ovens aren't that big. You can make a lot of pizzas in this oven. <laughs> you can make a lot of pizzas. The length of the oven makes a big difference. It, 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 it's basically ensuring that there's no delamination issue. You need to have a long oven, you need to have a long curing time. It also allows you to run a little bit faster if you have a long oven. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting in the oven and your fibers are going to burn out. Um, is the shearing running right now? It's a cup pile, it probably will be. No, it's not. It is a cup pile, but it's not shearing. Each and every, so each and every, uh, product that's made has a has an original production sample and we have three guys running on the line at all the time. So one will be checking the shearing, one will be checking it if any um, if there's any streaking, uh, one will be doing delamination tests. So we have a full team in the back here. We double inspect it before it ships out as well on uh, any cuts that go out or uh, anything that we have visibility to we are looking at it a second time in, in Georgia. So there's no scouring that needs to take place on any of this stuff because it's not no. no oil. No oil. And so then your rolls are automatically packed, placed in the queue for shipment, or put on the racks if it's uh, a little bit of time in between. Joe, the, when you talk about scouring, when, when they put the um, anti-soil on it, that oh. helps wash the, the yarn, okay? That takes some of the finish off. So that helps with the anti-soil. That's what you're gotcha. after when, when people talk about scouring, you're trying to eliminate more of the soiling. So they're putting anti-soil on all of our carpets. Put your shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> A little random. <laughs>